were you hoping to achieve with this book? Well, just, uh, we already have immortality. Yeah. So, we were just, uh, you know, we like to do things big. Subtlety is not anything that we're, we're fond of. So, we wanted to do something with a big bang. And uh, this is the year of the monster. And the book goes along with the album and everything else we're doing. Big is better. Because we, we've got this great book, and it chronicles the last 40 years of the band, and it's massive, as well it should be. And uh, this is the year of the monster, because not only do we have this book, but we also have an album coming out called Monster. And while we're over here doing press, we thought we could make good use of the time and work with Help for Heroes, which is uh, obviously an organization for the vets. You know, every country that's free depends upon those people to keep you free. So that's the greatest national treasure you have. In the States, we gave a half a million dollars to a similar organization, and uh, you owe it to these people because they've given everything to you. So we're donating a book to the cause, and uh, hopefully we'll raise awareness. There's no liberty without these people. They sacrifice their lives, they sacrifice their limbs. You know, people say, give until it hurts. Don't give until it hurts, give until it feels good. You know, you've all got a conscience, and, and we're, we're tied to any country that worships freedom. And uh, we've met with these people, think the world of them, and uh, maybe we can raise some awareness and some money. It's so where did the idea important. for the book come from? Was it a case of the title of the new album lent itself to uh, this particular project? Well, we're certainly not boring to look at. So, um, you know, this is, this is a book that chronicles the last 40 years and, and uh, you know a, a band that's bigger than life deserves a book that's bigger than life so uh, you know you could call it a coffee table book but if you put legs on it it is a coffee size table size does count your girlfriend's been lying <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was just wondering um, when it comes to putting a book together like this what, how much input did you have to the photos that were chosen and what was the last thing oh, that was boy. cut you know, I, actually, the the, uh, the photo selection was done by the band, and uh, we work with a great company here in the UK called First Light, uh, from the publisher. But uh, it really, like Paul says, it chronicles the, the last, you know, the entire career of Kiss, starting from the very beginning. But it's all in the live setting. All the photos are are large. You know, some of them are two page spread, so you've got a four foot by two foot, uh, you know, photos that are they're really amazing. We just had a chance to look at it. A finished book just a couple hours ago. I'm, I'm not really blown away, but it's the uh, you know Kiss in the live setting with makeup on stage and around the Kiss concert. So, you know you see audience shots from the audience. The book is hand bound, and it's you, hand bound. It's, you can't use a machine. This book is so thick and so heavy that the only way that it can be bound together is by hand. So it really is a, a collector's book. There have been others, but this uh, this eclipses all of them. Right? You know. There, there certainly was uh, the Helmut Newton book and some other, you know, hefty sized books, but this is, uh, this is in a class by itself. And obviously looking at them, you see that um, we pay tribute to all the countries uh, that have helped make us what we are. And uh, there are special editions for each one. Tommy was a little uh, remiss in his inferred fiduciary duty to himself. In other words, he was kind. We picked it up. We did not. This book wouldn't have been possible without Tommy Thayer, who worked his butt off, which is why he doesn't have a butt anymore, <laughs> working with the fine folks here. And he spent weeks and weeks working on it, designing it with everybody, and every one of those photos were handpicked by Tommy. And the band. Looking <laughs> <laughs> back at your career, what photos stand out for you? Well, all of them, you know, I mean, there's nothing in that book that each one of us doesn't remember. You know, um, we're, we're lucky, you know, some people don't remember the 70s or don't remember the 80s. Um, you know, we lived them and we remember it. You know, there are other bands who are clueless as to what they've been doing the last 20 or 30 or 40 years, but not the case with us. If it was worth doing, we remember it. Just a question from Australia. Um, is this the best cover? Uh, it's the best Australian cover, for sure. Are there any photos from Australia, do you remember? I think there might be. Will you look for yourself in the crowd? Is that... Do you plan to uh, look at it upside down? We wonder what Australian fans will do. I'm Stephen. 
question for you, a bit of a sentimental question, because you guys are noted for being tough. Do you, do you get kind of nostalgic when you look at the pictures in the book, going back through the past? Hmm. Well, we, you know, we, it's, um, it's nice to be nostalgic and still love what you're doing today. It's sad when you think of those as the good old days. You know, we're, we're in the midst of the most amazing ride, and it, it's, it's the last 40 years, so um, it, there's nothing wistful about looking at it, but it, it's, it's, you know, we're, we're damn thankful that we've been accepted the way we have, and we, we've kept doing what we like doing and what we love doing. So, um, sentimental, proud. By the way, in case you're getting mixed messages from us, we're very clear about it when it comes to our confidence and our admiration for our hard work ethic and what we do. We're unabashed and unapologetic. We're great. We're legends. <laughs> we are the legends that walk the face of the earth. But but when we when we talk about our fans and the privilege, not the birthright, of of getting up on stage and being allowed to do that, we're forever grateful and we'll always be humble when it when it comes to that. So if some of you are saying, gee, they're talking out of both sides of their mouth, no. One is supreme confidence, the other is forever thankful. True legends, kiss everybody. Thank you.